The Monaco Grand Prix Circuit. This brand new map mod for BeamNG brings its iconic racetrack to the game. There have been versions of this map in the past, but this is by far the most detailed and the most up to date. It's literally come out today as I record this, so go and download it and you'll have a great experience. But today, we're going to be driving around the Lotus 25 from 1962. An iconic F1 car, and yeah, I cannot wait to jump in. This is a automation mod. I'll leave links to both mods in the description down below. Looks like the Stig is driving. Quite a, I don't know, looks like the Michelin man or something. It's a bit weird, that. But anyway, it's kind of cool they can make a driver in the um, in automation. Anyway, yeah, cool interior. It does actually have an interior, but the things don't move. Anyway, let's get this thing on the road. I'm using my G27, and I've got track IR so I can move my head like that. Let's go. Holy moly, that is fast. Okay, hold on, on we go. Now we're gonna do a couple of laps and then we're gonna do a time trial. Whoa, it's very jittery. No, oh dear. Uh oh, that's bad. Right up the hill, go. So I think this map is ported over from a Seto Corsa. I think it was a Seto Corsa mod. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, if it was in the base game, let me know, but I can't remember it in the base game when I played. Uh, what is going on? A Seto Corsa. Whoa. Okay, try and drive it a little bit slower than I'm driving and then just slowly work up the speed. There we go. Right down this hill. Got to remember to brake in a good position like here. No! Oh, there goes the wheel. Wow. I'm really bad. Okay. We've got no mirrors, just a look behind, except I can't because I've got a helmet on. Okay. Ugh. It's heavy steering, which is realistic. Here's the hairpin. Oh yeah. Quite good round there, even though we're going really slow. Whoa! Okay. This vehicle might be a bit difficult for me to drive. It does feel like a very high level of difficulty. Let the clutch up slowly. There we go. We hit something. I think we're okay, though. There we go. Now we're doing it. Yes. There's a hundred. We need to break about here. Or just go straight over. That's fine. Wow, it revs up to nearly 11,000 RPM. That's craziness. Push it. Oh, go. Yes. Okay, I'm good for this bit. Oh. Oh, it's tighter than I thought. Ah. Look at the detail up there. That's just amazing. Really nice looking map. Okay, round here. We're second in second. Why not? It's quite, I don't know, it's quite a revy engine, so you can kind of have it down at low RPM and it will just fly like that. There's a time trial start point. We will do that in a bit. Okay. Brake. No, I burst the tyre and crashed. Just the lack of anti-lock brakes. I'm not used to it in cars. Right. Let's see if I can do this a bit better. Amazing engine sound. That classic Formula One style engine sound, it's amazing. This is a very revolutionary car at the time. It, it pioneered some aerodynamic techniques. The engine is placed right over the rear axle. Um, in fact, it's actually completely exposed. Look, you can see the engine there. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Twin exhausts. Oh, look at this view. There are a few like movies or um, videos of um, cameras attached to cars back in like the old days of racing in the 60s on this track and they are actually quite nasty accidents on this track as I'm sure you know if you um, know a little bit about the Monaco Grand Prix circuit I don't but uh, that's one of the only facts I really know about it it's an iconic track of course and people like to go in this tunnel and take pictures of fast cars and stuff because everyone in Monaco drives around in a, like a you know a G-Wagon or a Veyron or something, so... Well, I'm gonna break here. That sounds early, but considering how badly I did on the last time... There we go. There's all the rich people in their yachts, whoa! Oh, look at it. 
That is so cool, isn't it? A lot of smoke coming out of that exhaust. Does remind me a lot of R Factor 2, where this, this track is quite prominent in that game. And I think this car may even be in that game as well, but uh, somebody made this in automation. Well, that didn't go well. And yeah, they are just an incredible mod creator. See, this mod is completely hot off the press. It released, as I'm recording, about an hour ago. Somebody linked it in my Discord server. There's a suggestions channel over there if you want to go and join that where you can win... What was that there? Where you can win giveaways and also talk to me about sim games and suggest me mods and stuff to, to try out. Go and join it from the link in the description. Oh, no. Right, let's... Oh, oh! oh that's bad. Tell you what, though. Good deformation model. Oh, dear. Look at the driver. Wow. Okay. Map. Time trial. Set the route. Let's do a time trial. I might have to switch cars, I'm going to be honest. Right. It's actually called a Blotus, which is kind of funny, but there you go. So, time trial. I'm trying to look at like a 1... What would it be, like a 120 or a 130 maybe? I don't know what a good time on this track is. Handbrake. Yay! That actually worked. Right, so, escape to view details. We're going to do two laps. Sure. Okay, two laps. Let's go. Not too much wheel spin. Okay, quite a bit, but that's fine. We're off. Bouncing around, jiggling around. Into first. Give me a bit of throttle to avoid spinning out. There you go. There's an Asato Corsa sign there. Oh, we are making our way up here. Yes. I don't want to go too fast. Okay, and then brake slightly at the top there. And then just let it slow down a bit. Turn in. Well, that's better. Okay, and then tight. There we go. Full throttle. Brake here. Into first. Okay, I took that a bit slow, but we still spun it. How did that? Oh. How did that happen? Oh, heavy steering. Okay, let's go. It's me with the clutch. I need to be slower on the clutch. I've worked it out. There we go. Whoa, big cruise ship again. Distracts me every time. Just see it on the horizon. Right, let's go. Don't hear that wall. Okay, take that about 100 and then break about here. Come on. Oh, the wheel. Oh, dear. What a monster. Oh, my goodness. You know what? Let's record a replay of this lap. Here we go. There we go. See what I'm doing wrong with the replay. So it would be easy to drive around a different car, but you've got to get that full experience of an F1 car in the 60s on this track. Okay, here we go. Two, don't bring the clutch up too fast. Okay. There we go. And then hard to the right, and then, yes, go! Now progressive braking. Way too early, but that's fine. No, 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 too fast. I need to be more careful on the clutch. Okay. Okay, clutch that. That was terrible. We're going to have to live a bit. I think the car's okay. Okay, turn in. Clutch up slowly. There we go. And we're off. Turn in nice and tight. There we go. No, no, no. The tyre's deflated. Ah, oh, you know what? I'm going to have to give up. I'm going to have to choose an easier vehicle. So, let's do it. As you escape this, abandon. Right, which vehicle do you think would be good? So, something slightly easier. Maybe the Belide. And maybe the, um, the Club Racer. Modified for amateur level racing with upgraded engine suspension and mild weight reduction. Right, that sounds good. 
So let's go back into this, so this zone. I think it would let us do it anyway. Right, two laps, play. Let's go. Let's record this one. Not much wheel spin at all. Okay, again, not anti lock brakes though, obviously. And up we go. Oh, what a beast. It's not quite as fast, but does handle pretty well in comparison. Right. Progressive braking. Down into second. What's the hand what's the grip like? Oh, very good grip. Yes. Yes, perfect. Right. Take this about that speed. That speed. Oh dear. Oh dear. No. I can't even drive one of these. Oh no. I need to go on like a a really intensive driver training course, don't I? I did play a bit of iRacing, if you remember that on the channel like a few months ago, but I didn't really use my subscription to its fullest. And now it has expired like a month ago. So maybe if I'd have done a bit more of that, I would be a bit of a better racer. But I'm just such a casual sim racer. Um, I really have the wheel for like truck sims and bus sims and stuff. Right, come on. And BeamNG, you know. It does have good grip though. I shouldn't be messing it up this much. Wow. Okay, there we go. Mr. Gear. Okay. Into first. There we go. Down here and round the hairpin. Let's not mess up the hairpin this time. Yes, look at that. Amazing grip. Ooh. Oh, for goodness sake. It's car wrecked? No. Cord replay. Yeah. This is the bit I need to work on the most, I think. There's a couple of corners coming up here where I just can't tackle it. Okay, on the brakes. No. Okay, we're all right. In second. There we go. And floor it. It's got a good pickup. Yes. Nice sound. Bit of a lock there. And we can carry the speed through there. And this is the corner. So, down to about 40 miles per hour. Or 30. There we go. Oh my goodness, this lap is taking ages. We're going to do like over two minutes. That's crazy. Oh, oh, hang, hang on a minute, hang on. The hitbox on that that little wall was, wasn't quite correct and I didn't technically hit it. But, come on. Oh, please can we make it over the line? Oh my God. That'd be terrible if we didn't make it over the line. Right, come on. Look at that wheel. Well, that was awful. I am such a useless driver, but that is the Monaco Grand Prix circuit. Recently released for this game. You've got to go out there and download it. It's a really fun mod. I'll leave a link to the, um, the Lotus 25, a very difficult F1 car to handle, but nonetheless a very fun and ingenious mod, an absolutely brilliant mod from Automation. So from me, thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more BeamNG, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell if you don't, ever, don't want to ever miss a video and come over to the Discord server where we have monthly giveaways as well as the ability for you guys to suggest me mods and games to play. I also have a channel membership scheme. $1.99 per month gets you access to lots of different um, members-only videos that I've made and some other perks. So from me in BeamNG, I will see you soon for some more simulator adventures. Make sure to join my Discord server from the link in the description. Simulator Adventures channel memberships are available from as little as $1.99 per month and grant you access to exclusive perks including members only videos. Click the join button below this video to find out more. Special thanks to Ultra Sim fan Oh My Mandy 